Hey guys, welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be doing another Imagine X review. This time though, we're going to be doing Jurassic World. We're going to be doing two sets. Am I looking at the camera? I'm not too sure because I keep looking back at the screen. Anyway, and the sets today are going to be Owen and Stingerlock uh, Jurassic Hauler. I don't know if it's called the Jurassic Hauler, but I think that's what it's called. Anyways, let's start, let's save the best for last. So let's do Owen and Stingerlock. So starting off with the characters, we have Owen. So this is uh, Owen from the Fallen Kingdom Jurassic World series. Um, a lot like he does in the movie. He's got a light, light blue shirt, some dark blue jeans, brown jacket, There's a little bit of a beard, watch thing. Kind of looks like a rubber band, actually. Um, overall, not too bad, not too shabby. He also comes with a motorcycle, which I gotta say, this is a pretty well detailed motorcycle. I love whenever Imagine X puts so much detail into their, into their toys. Like, look at all these little engine parts and details and stuff. So, this is pretty much just a normal green, gray, and silver bike, you know. Looking pretty cool. And of course, as you can tell, yes, Owen can ride the bike. Why else would it come with a vehicle that you could not ride? But anyways, let me just this. escape. We capture the Stitch Malog. This is the dinosaur that comes in the set. Um, one thing I like about this, about these dinosaurs, is that they have these marble eyes that wherever you go, the eyes are actually following you. I think that's really cool and creepy at the same time. Uh, but. Uh, a fun fact, Stitch Blocks are actually um, just juvenile versions of Pachycephalosaurus. It's true. Scientists just made the discovery very recently. Um, which I guess makes a lot of sense because it looks a little bit shorter. The spikes are still pretty big. Um, the dome is not as big. Um, overall, I, I like the look. It looks really cool. Um, it's got a nice white or maybe pale underbelly. It's all orange with um, some gray spikes, white dome and beak, and some uh, darkish, very dark brown on the top. Again, very nice detail and scales and all. Really cool. The set also comes with a giant cage. There isn't much color in this one. It's mostly just red and gray. Kind of fits the feel so I don't know. Uh, again, it's got some nice detail there and there. And you can actually put a Pachycephalosaurus inside the cage. Um, now, and that's actually what this toy is meant for. It's, but you can also store, capture action figures and put them in here too. And to see, you can actually lock the cage. And the Pachycephalosaurus can actually look right outside the window. Pretty cool. So. Uh, it's also got this the Jurassic World symbol, Jurassic Park, pretty much the same thing. Whatever. And you can actually break them out using this power pad. Turn it. And boom! The cage, the gel cell breaks open. The central lock can escape. Very cool. Uh, that's pretty much all there is in the set, though. It's a nice little set, a nice little reference from the movie where Owen and Claire are captured and they have a stigma lock and it, that break them out and stuff. Really cool. Now on to the Holler Play set. Now it comes with a lot of characters. Um, uh, starting off with the human character, this, I don't know who this is, this looks like one of the soldiers, but it kind of reminds me of that guy who got eaten by the Endoraptor. <laughs> the guy who liked to collect teeth. Um, what's his name? I don't know, you guys have to call in, yeah, you guys have to tell me in the comment section below, but I think that's who this guy is, but he doesn't have, I don't think he has any hair. He also got the same in his name. Well, I think he might have had a, some kind of facial hair on him. I don't know. Uh, anyways, he's wearing, he looks a little buff to me, but 
I mean, that's how you have to be to be a silver. Um, he's got a nice, um, a mossy green suit, kind of like a soldier suit, with gray belt, gloves, and boots, and it's a little cat. Uh, oh, well, not too bad. Um, that's actually not a cute character. The others are all just dinos. So, the first dinosaur is to come in the set. Let's start off the smallest, move on from there. Are these two copies, or constant offices? Um, they're actually some of the smallest dinosaurs ever. In fact, they're so small that if we actually size comparison them, you can see they're not that big. They're only about half the size of this human action figure. Very small. Um, now, same thing with uh, Stingimaloc. They have marble eyes. And even though they don't have, even though they're very small, they do have a little bit of articulation. This guy can move his head left, right. And this one, however, can move his side to side. So he's like, ooh, tasty. I think that's kind of, I think that's, how I, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, anyways, the next dinosaur is actually a baby Cetrimaloc. So, uh, this is basically the little baby. Uh, as you can see, they do have quite a few differences. Um, they got different feet, obviously smaller. Um, a little bit of a smoother dome. Spikes are actually curled up, surprisingly. Um, now there is a problem about this. This, because babies are actually um, Drago Rexes, another type of Pachycelosaurus, which is actually just another, no, yeah, it's just another different version of Pachycelosaurus. So, and this is not, this doesn't, this actually doesn't exist at all, <laughs> but it's still, still, little mommy and baby. Anyways, next up we have is a baby T Rex. I think this is kind of a cool design for the T Rex. It's kind of a big and stubby with a big old chubby head. Just got what T-Rex are gonna like. They're big, they're bulky, got big heads. Um, surprisingly, this one has quite a little tail. Um, he's still able to stand though. Um, same thing, he's got marble eyes and stuff. Oh yeah, instead of the baby over there, I'm really sticking a lot. Um, uh, overall, not too bad. Oh, I also forgot to show you the articulation of these characters. So yeah, they will both move their arms and legs up and down. Um, they don't unfortunately move their tails. A Stitchamalock, on the other hand, can move her tail um, down and up and down. So there is that. The last dinosaur in the set is Blue, Blue the Velociraptor. He's one of the main characters, one of the main dinosaurs of the, of the movies. So I think this is a lot more of an accurate version of Blue. Usually most uh, Lego uh, blues usually show him like dark green, a little bit of blue. He's actually just gray. So I really like this design. Again, he's got the marble eyes. He pretty much is exactly the same as the Stingimalock. Arms and legs move. Um, this is tail. Except, you can also open up his jug. But yeah, that's kind of cool. He can kind of go like, looks like he's in his hunt. I'm about to kill crown someone. What are you looking at that? Oh! I think that's really cool. Uh, now, all this guy's buddy. The two epic partners, human and dinosaurs, working together. And now, of course, it's time to show off the main part of the Jurassic Hauler set. The Jurassic Hauler itself. Pretty big. Um, I I really like the, the design of this. Um, there's actually a a newer version of this, which is green instead. Um, why they changed the color, I don't know. This is one big hauler. So it's actually first of all, it's got suspension on its wheels, as you can see. If you press them down, they'll actually go down. So it actually has a little bit of suspension. 
so it can even go through uh, bumpy terrain. So it's, you know, it's not as smooth as the table. Uh, but that's, I think that's really cool. And you can also put characters inside. Um, you actually <clears throat> open this up. You can take the characters and put them inside. Because, spoiler alert, um, some of the soldiers who were sent out, even when they were so sent out to go save the dinosaurs, they were actually just trying to capture them to make off profit. So, and they also were trying to capture Blue to create the new hybrid, the Indoraptor. <sighs> Jeez, these guys never learn. But yeah, so, this... Basically, this whole intention is that this vehicle is meant to capture dinosaurs. And there are two ways of doing it. So, first of all, this thing comes with a double-sided gun, cannon, shooter, net launcher, uh, which is very interesting. You can actually put it in two different places. Oh, since I it. You can either put it here or here. I think we're gonna put it there because we're gonna use that later. But it, since it has like a ball joint, it can actually move around, it can turn, it can tilt side to side. Um, really cool. And there's actually handlebars where you can have your characters. Hold on, I'm not really gonna take time and do that though. It comes also with a net. So you put this inside. Now, what you're supposed to do is when you see these little red pieces right here, you're supposed to take these with the take these hooks right here. And just do it with both sides. Uh, okay. And you can basically capture dinosaurs. So for example, since we're okay in the set, we're gonna try and Let's see if we can capture any of these dinosaurs. There we go, they're all lined up. Um, and you can press this little little button right here. And it looks like we got, I think we got it copy. So, what do you do after you capture the dinosaur? Well, that's another that's main feature of the set. So this thing comes a giant cage, right? Well, with this power pad here, you can do this. That, and if you do it all the way, you can do this. That's right. The cage can actually come off of it, and you have to detach from the vehicle. So, say if you're like, if there's like bad guys trying to chase you. Or mean dinosaurs, you know. For say, for example, Stitchable Lock is trying to get you, and then you activate the power pad. Boom! Make it get in the way the Stitchable Lock is. And you can open up this cage right here. With this handle. Uh, oh! There you go. And you can basically take your captured dinosaurs and put them inside here. Oh, and did I mention that this cage has a booby trap? That's right, so say the good guys want to try and save this dinosaur. Like, oh, and you know, he cares for dinosaurs, so he's gonna go here and try to save his copy. But, if you hold down on this, boom, it's a booby trap, and they're both captured. I think that's a really cool feature they added there, with booby traps. You gotta have your booby traps. And that's pretty much it for these two sets. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I have. Be sure to leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other videos at Random Kids TV. But other than that, though, I hope thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.